Lesson 1. User Interface. Here we will look at definitions, user interface navigation and interaction, drone window, navigation control and zoom. Views. Here we will look at view control and properties, view types and cameras. File management. Here we will look at definitions, project files, opening an existing Revit project, creating new Revit project and saving. This video focuses on the user interface and uses the basic sample project included with your Revit installation. When you open Revit, you will be greeted by the start screen. You can see the sample project on the screen here. Open this file by clicking on it now. OK, here is the main sample project. Over in the top left here, we have the Revit button. The Revit button allows you to create new projects, open them, save them and export them. Also, much more. The Quick Access Toolbar is up in the top left here. This allows you to quickly open or save project files. Also, undo your recent actions or redo them and also switch windows which allows you to change the recent windows you've uh, opened so you can see them all here these are the recent windows you've opened you can choose which one you like it's a quick accessible tool next we have the ribbon which is along the top here on the ribbon we have tabs here tabs all hide different types of tools such as in architecture it hides the wall doors, window, roof, ceiling, floor tools. Okay, next we have the properties palette which is down the left here. The properties palette allows you to see all the information about a specific object such as if I click on this door here it will show me all the information on this door. Okay, we now move on to the type selector, which is also located in the properties window here. This allows you to change the type of door, uh, such as the dimensions here. Okay, next we have the project browser. This is in the bottom left here. Personally, I like to have the project browser to the right over here, docked over to the right, if you'd like to see. If you'd like to do that, uh, do that by dragging and front to the right here okay right the project browser the project browser has the floor plans ceiling plans 3d views elevations and section views and much more which we'll talk in later lessons but first of all floor plans this is what a floor plan looks like uh, a ceiling plan this is the level actually, level 1. And 3D view. And east elevation or section view. Okay, now we're going to talk about the view control bar. This is in the bottom left here. The view control bar allows you to change the graphical design and display of your building such as changing it to wireframe, shaded or realistic and many more. Also you can add a sun path. And now we're going to move on to the minimize panel button. This is up at the top here along with the tabs above the ribbon. What it does, the minimize panel button, it, it changes the ribbon to a more compact version such as I'll click it once now it's more compact. If I click it again, it's even more compact. And I'll click it one more time, and it's compact by tabs. Okay, and I'll click it one more time, and it'll bring me my full ribbon back. Okay, that's been lesson one. And uh, lesson two, we will include levels, walls, and doors and windows. Thank you.